everyone! So today I have another review for you guys. I do have a glossy box and another product coming in so I can do a haul. So stay tuned for that. But today we're going to do a product review on these, which are CoverGirl lipsticks. So do y'all see that? So these are, they come in like a brown, very um, square packaging. So this is what it looks like. And this has the color on the side. And it also has a color kind of similar to it on the inside. So you'll notice that like these two insides are different. Um, so that's just something else I've noticed. I'm not 100% positive. It's like, it's because they have different finishes, which I didn't really notice them having different finishes. But I'm not sure if it's because they have different finishes or if they do that with every single color. I only have these two, so I couldn't tell you. But I am wearing one today, and it is in Entwined, number 340. And as far as the actual, like, I just found them as CoverGirl lipsticks. They are $7.99 at CVS. So that's it. This is what I'm wearing on my lips today. There we go. And then the other color, and that is in Entwined. This color is Eternal, and it's kind of a pinky red. Oops. There we go. So, Entwined Eternal. This comes up on my lips a little bit more red. I can, let's see if I can show you guys. I don't know. As you can see, it doesn't stain your lips. My lips are a little red right now, but... You know, that makes sense. So this is, e no, Eternal. It definitely, like I said, does show a little, it pulls a little more red um, than it looks like in the swatch. But it is still a pinky red. As far as feathering, I did notice that a little bit with these application. They're a little moisturizing. I wouldn't say they're super drying, but as the day, as you wear them, they do dry out. I put mine on, so with that something that I would kind of, I would suggest wearing a gloss over. I was wearing Entwined earlier, and I put on the, uh, this NYC gloss, and it worked nicely, and it hydrated me a little bit more. So that is one thing that you want to think about. It's definitely not an uncomfortable dryness, but there is a slight drying effect that you will notice. Um... As far as lasting effect, let me think. I put mine on at around 10 this morning, and it's about 4 now, and it was still on before Kanga licked it off of me when I got home. So it did have a pretty good lasting effect. Now, in that time, I did not eat or drink. So as far as that, it'll probably be less. But overall, I did find that these lasted pretty well, and it did stay. It didn't fade weird and get blotchy. It kind of faded a little bit, but in a nice, even fade. So I really liked that. Overall, um, I do enjoy these lip products. They are $8 at CVS. I know they do sell them at Target, but I couldn't find Target's price. But always, with any drugstore brand, they're going to go on sale. CoverGirl might be buy one, get one, or 40% off, or something like that. So you can get them, you know, and drugstore brands are always, the prices can of change. Um, I actually look at CoverGirl's website, but they don't sell them off their website, so I don't know what they suggest. But I do really like them. These two colors are really nice. I really like this one. Again, it's a, a pinky red. It's pulling a little more orangey red on my camera, and I can see that. But in real life, it's definitely like a very hot pink red. And this, I actually was really surprised with this Entwined. I had never used it before today, and I thought it was going to be very brown, but it actually comes up as this really pretty purpley mauve. I really enjoy this color. I think it's very different. So overall, I do like these lip products. A little pricey, but definitely nothing too extreme. So if you're in the market, you want to try some. They also have a huge brand of colors, and with CoverGirl's new bombshell um, line that they're just now coming out with, there are a couple of new colors in this lipstick line. So, that's all I have for you. Overall, I would say yes. Um, I will probably purchase more colors of these. I do like the color. The color payoff is great. I'm really happy with them. So, that's all I have for y'all. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have anything you want me to review, let me know. Or any kind of video recommendations. Or if you just want to say hi, leave me a comment. I would really like that. And um, make sure you subscribe because I do have 
a lot of videos coming up. I'm just waiting for the mail to get here, and that's really frustrating, but what are you going to do? Can't control the mail. All right, that's all I have for y'all. Bye!